first shake down sale after being on land for two months. Hopefully I can remember how to do this. And we're sailing! Ten knots of wind, only going three knots, but still. Sailing checked, did the right things, time to explore. What do you do while in Cape Town? You go up Table Mountain, of course. There is a cable car, but we decided to hark it. Pretty strenuous one and a half hours, but so awesome and worth it. Can we have an hour break up there? The I think we can. Sorry? I think we can. Or two hours. Well, he's doing amazingly well. Yeah. Yeah. See how far we've come already. Look, there's a boom stand. There is. There's one over there with a pink cap on. Where? <laughs> over there. <laughs> <laughs> there's the guy. Seriously, boy. Did you have to carry up your father? Yes. Ah. I'm A. A. Hey. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. It's okay. What do you look like 12? There's a nice little spring down there. Yeah. Table Mountain has had three names. The original, Huricuajo, was given by the Cosan, meaning mountain in the sea. Then in 1503, along came Portuguese explorer Antonio de Saldana, who hacked up the mountain and renamed it Tabayo de Cabo, Table of the Cape. Lastly, in 1652, the Dutch settlers called it Tafelberg. <laughs> Our next stop up the coast is Salmonstown. We wait for the right weather window, but no one told us about the fog. Our mate Dean joins us, and we head out. We assess the situation while out there, have a little putter around the harbour, and decide to turn around and go back to the mooring. Luckily we didn't leave that day, for the next morning I noticed our bulges were flooded. The engine compartment and batteries were floating in seawater. We couldn't find the source until we ran the motor and noticed a hose was leaking. Do you know what pipe it is? It looked like it was pouring out. Good thinking to put the engine on. That, I mean, that's salt water. Yes. It's got to be part of the cooling system. Robin, you are very right. Not wanting to take any chances, we get some professional advice. Yeah, this was in warm water. Nice and clean, nice and soft. Put it back to the room. Fantastic. Thanks a million, Chancellor. So? Quite simple, you just take that thing off the thing and clean it a bit and <laughs> <laughs> So, pretty straightforward uh, procedure, we think. Grab the right tools first off. This particular hose allowed air into the cooling system when the motor was off. And it has a spring loaded valve which was jammed with dirt leaving it open when the motor was running. Did he say he'd take it out of washer? He did. So you take it off and rinse it out, I think. And? Good job. Good job. Right, let's try again. Okay. 
the big guard now. I thought we'd go there for this really good. I have no idea. It's not a wing yet. <laughs> I thought there was a flat. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go around this way just to be quick, boys. We've got a couple of earlier. Just to throw some decent seamanship. We're going around this. Okay, now you're outside those ships there, so we're going to go. Yeah, good deal. Vision. Vision. Yeah. And then we'll, what we'll do as well is we'll just suck a couple of last time. We'll just scan it in on that yard until we check that there's no little reefs. Because there are a few when you get down to the left, that's not going One end for you, one end for the boats. I'll take two ends off the Cape of Good Hope, notorious for violent storms and rough seas. But we picked our day well and glided past in gentle conditions. Well, she came up here on a ride. It's very cool. I never knew she'd do this. Luckily, we're going pretty slowly. Yeah, luckily. And luckily, the sail's on up. Yep. The main sail's not up. It's almost not up. The main terrain, so. Well, so we're going to get her a harness just in case. Definitely a harness. <laughs> Are these at Murray? No, no, no. See, some of them look like they're straight on to And you don't have a boat to get to shore. Can you pop that up? <laughs> <laughs> What's he thinking? What, what does he think this is? <laughs> you go in the little laugh, laugh roll. Dean, that's <laughs> lovely. She's an accomplished tender, but it's very far. <laughs> she, oh, yeah. she looks a bit deflated. <laughs> Any mariner knows you must store your tender deflated. 